Well, greetings one, greetings all. It's been a while, has it not, since we've had a ghost story from the North Wales Hospital. So what I've decided to do is to search my memory banks and maybe relate a spooky tale that will chill and thrill you. Okay, so what is the year? The year is 1982. Uh, I was in the nurse's home, as you know, and I was working nights at the time. And this isn't a story that concerns me, it's one that was told to me by an old staff nurse who worked at the hospital on nights. Uh, we have to go back again, uh, further in time, beyond 1982, back into the 1940s, when the nurse's home uh, was actually in the main hospital itself. Uh, there was a male side, there was a female side of the nurse's home, obviously, and um, never the twain shall meet. Uh, much more modern in my day, when we did tend to meet with members of the opposite sex. Okay, so we go back to the 1940s. A nurse, uh, an ordinary nurse, like a person like you and me, not actually from Denby, actually from Welshpool, and uh, that's why I was living in. Um, he received a knock on his door late one night, just before Christmas. He opened the door, and at, the, uh, at his feet uh, sat a box, a small box, a square box. But nobody around, nobody around whatsoever. Uh, curious, he picked it up. It had his name on it, but no address, simply his name. He took it into his room and lay it down. Uh, looking at it for a few moments, he decided to open the box. He opened it and there sat in front of him a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle. A jigsaw puzzle with mm, not that many pieces. Uh, not being one for jigsaws, he decided to put it away and maybe try and find who it actually belonged to and who was possibly uh, playing a joke or possibly sending him a gift, a gift of perhaps romance. A number of days went by. Uh, the nurse went to work. Uh, he was actually rather like a, um, a keeper, a warden really, uh, rather than a nurse as such. He wasn't qualified in any sense of the word. And on returning to his room after a shift, he slept. He woke up in the middle of the night and something was scratching at his window. He went to the window and could see nothing. He could see nothing. Try as he might, he could not get back to sleep. Uh, he went to the communal canteen where he purchased a cup of tea and then took it back to his room. Uh, still unable to sleep, his mind turned once again to that strange box that was sat on his dressing table. The man opened it, the man opened it and emptied out all the pieces onto his dressing table. He started slowly to put the pieces together, piece by piece by piece. An hour went by, he stood back and looked it was half done. It seemed to be a man. A man, or a shape of a man, suspended. Trying to sleep again, tossing and turning. And again he heard the scratching at the window. He got up and continued with the jigsaw. Piece by piece by piece. Soon he was down to five pieces left. And he stood back once again and looked down at the picture. This was no man suspended in the air. This was a man hanging, hanging from a rafter. What a bizarre puzzle, he thought. Taking the pieces, he placed the last piece, the man's head. What he saw was his own face. He saw his own body hanging from the rafters. After two, three days, his door was opened by the warden. Uh, they were searching for this man. He had not reported for duty. What the warden found was that man hanging from a rafter. It's been a while um, since we've had ghost stories. I hope you certainly enjoyed that one. Um, it spooked me greatly when I was uh, told that one by an old staff nurse at the North Wales Hospital, Denby. A nurse who had plenty of stories, all true, obviously. Uh, if you've enjoyed this one, please 
tell me that you've enjoyed it. If you want any more, I can do more. Uh, there's plenty more out there, as you can imagine, the North Wales Hospital. Denby itself, one of the spookiest, hauntiest places in Wales. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.